So I see they had another compressor here. And, um, and I was wondering, what is wrong with this one? And I was looking at it, okay. This is the discharge. I could see the discoloration. We know it was running hot and it was running low on refrigerant. And because it was running low on refrigerant, it was starving for oil and it was overheating. That's what the gray discoloration's for. And I'm going, well, I wonder if the clutch was bad, but maybe the clutch wasn't bad. But uh, here's the sensor, but that's not the biggest thing either. I go, let's see if, so what I did was, let's see if I could balance my phone and let you guys see while I do this. So I'm going to see if I could get this phone off there, I'll back it right there. I have my glove on, this is the suction. So I put my thumb there and I spin it by hand. You hear that? That's compression. Look at my thumb. See how hard that was to get my thumb out of there? I was sucking my thumb because it was sealing tight around my glove. There's nothing physically wrong with this compressor. This compressor is in good shape. So, uh, a lot of times compressors will get changed because they're making noise, but there's nothing wrong with them. They were just making noise. But then it could be the clutch coil, and you know, the dealers don't always sell clutch coils, but you could get them aftermarket. That's an easy one to change. And then you have the sensor in the bottom. That could go bad and uh, give a signal, not to slip sensor there. Um, yeah, that's all. I just want to know. I don't have time to test this a lot and show you guys and own everything out, but I just see a lot of compressors change when they don't need to be changed.